General Motors calls this Factory Zero, a 40-year-old plant gutted and retrofitted with a retrained workforce. On the assembly line, the all-new electric version of the Hummer pickup, now at the center of GM's plans to produce nothing but electric vehicles by 2035. That's just 14 years away. Mary Barra is GM CEO. Are you able to scale up fast enough to truly make it all electric in 14 years? Absolutely, yes. We have the facilities. We have a, a talented, trained workforce. With the Ultium platform, that gives us an advantage. Make no mistake, GM is gunning for Tesla, which has roughly 79% of the electric vehicle market. Other car makers also want a piece of the pie, including Ford, Volkswagen, Nissan, and Jeff Bezos backed Rivian. But this is GM, America's biggest automaker going all in. President Biden will be here tomorrow after signing the infrastructure bill that pays for a network of charging stations nationwide. We believe in climate change, it's real, and so we know that transportation transportation plays a, has a, a huge impact. So the quicker we can bring everyone along to EVs, the better it's going to be for climate. GM promises the 3,000 pound batteries will deliver performance, zero to 60 in three seconds, with a range of 350 miles. And just like Ford's new electric F-150, customer demand for a powerful EV truck is strong. The first electric Hummer hasn't even rolled off the assembly line, but 10,000 people have pre-ordered the vehicle, first deliveries by the end of the year. Meanwhile, like most automakers, GM has also been caught in the global supply chain slowdown. While it's now reopening the factories forced to temporarily close, a shortage of computer chips used in every car and truck may take months to resolve. Many of those chips come from Taiwan, now the focus of tension between the U.S. and China, making it a top concern for the head of GM. You need that Taiwan connection like many companies do. Well, and yeah, and we have, again, we have um, semiconductors coming from many different countries across the globe. And so making sure that we have uh, enough supplies, our first issue, and then that, that there's not going to be other issues that impact that, of course, is something we look at. Tonight, the country's biggest automaker plotting a green future amid ever-changing global challenges. Tom Costello, NBC News, Detroit. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.